this lesson we're going to look at arrays. So firstly, an array is a data structure. So the difference between a variable and an array is that the variable can only store one value. So it's a location memory that stores one value. Array are a series of memory locations, so more than one memory location, and it can store multiple values under one identifier, so under one name. So you can see here at the bottom we got a table. This is an array. So we got an array called names and it's storing multiple items. Now each array has so each item has an index number. So Tom is stored under in index number zero. Arrays start with index zero. This is so we can access them later on. Now all of the data in the array must be of the same data type. So they must all either be string, integer, and so on. They have to be of the same data type. They cannot be an integer and a string in one array. That's not possible. Now advantage of an array is that it can store multiple data over a variable. And also it reduces the need for multiple variables. So in this example, so in this example, rather than having seven different variables, we can store everything under one array. This will reduce the number of variables needed. Now, a record is another data structure. A record stores multiple data as well. However, it can store multiple data types. So that's the main difference between an array and a record. So here we can see storing a strings and real as well. So float, decimal numbers, and also strings. Now, this is how we can create an array in Python. We do that by using the squared brackets, and then we put what we want inside it. Now, if we have numbers, we don't need the quotation mark. But because this is a string, so Rom, Ash, Sam, Ali, and Mark, they're all strings, we do need the quotation mark. Now, to access, so it says print name zero, this will access index zero, which is Rom, because Rom is on index zero. This will display just from. Print names two, this is index two, which is Sam. So Sam is on index two. Now, you can also display part of the array. So if you do zero colon two, this will display the first two items in the array. So index zero and one. So it's up to the second number. So from this first number, up to the second number, but not including that number. Now, you can also find the length of the array. So the length of the array is done is found using the len function. So len will display three in this case, because we have three items in this array. Now you can also use a for loop to display all of the items in the array on multiple lines. So this will loop through the array so this will loop through each item in the array. So normally you would use a for loop for X in range or for I in range and so on. Then you start from zero because that's where the array starts with. And then two, the length of films or the length of the array. So in this case, it goes from zero to three. Now print film X, film X, X will be zero at the start. So film zero is so. So we'll display so, then X will increment by one. Then it will display film films one which is sharks and so on finally we can use an if statement with that to find if the item is inside the array or not so in this case we've created a an array called names then we ask the user to enter a name then we loop through the array and then we checked if the item so if choice if the use name the user entered is equal to name x. So name x, the first x will be zero. So name x will be Marv. So we'll compare choice with Marv. If it's true, we'll display found. If it's not, we'll go to the top increments x by one. X becomes one. If choice is equal to names one, that's Nina and so on. And it will keep repeating until the end of the array. So we'll loop through everything in the array.